Hey YouTube, this is Ruchika again. So this is my fifth video tutorial on data stage. As I said in my uh, previous fourth tutorial, fourth video tutorial on data stage, we discussed about the sequential file stage in server jobs. And as promised, in this video, I gonna deal with hashed file stage with all the parameters and all that stuff and simple job design on what exactly is hashed file stage and all that so yeah now coming to the hash file stage basically you can just say it as like a small database table hashed file stage serves as like a reference table or a small database table so let's get into this thing so yeah this is the stage name you can just like edit it and all that and this is like account name use account name is like if you choose this you must have like accounts linked with uh, i mean i don't have any linked accounts so yeah if you choose this you uh, you can have an account uh, linked linked with the hashed things and if you cho just choose the account uh, that particular account then it gonna associate all the table definitions for that hash thing and everything everything is like a pretty fine uh yeah but usually use a uh, director path director path is like uh if you remember the sequential file stage we are just giving the path of the file right uh, so that's that's uh, this is how it uh, works so we just we just specify a directory uh, directory and yeah just click on the browse and yeah just give the path directly and this uh, i mean I, i'll show this while i'm like uh, working with the real time uh, example okay and then uh, the sequential null value it determines like what character actually represents the sql null value in the hashed file with the corresponding stage uh, you can just have if you have like euro uh, you can just have like special characters if you have like euro and all that stuff yeah you can just choose an option uh, i mean it, it it can also have like auto detect auto detect option uh, it, it, it's 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 disabled because we didn't have anything so but yeah it does have an auto detect option so uh, if if you choose that auto detect option then the data stage info uh, info sphere thing determines uh, what represents uh, sql uh, sql null and all that and the universe stage compatibility so if you check this uh, check this box then any job conversions like any uh, just like all the job convert it, it this compatibility ensure that all the conversions work perfectly so yeah and then uh, coming to the output path i mean yeah description you can just have your own description uh, when did you create and what did you create and what time and all that stuff so yeah coming to the output link tab because i do uh, because i do uh, i have only one output link uh, it's showing me one output link let's let's put like let's make it different output links okay now uh, come to the output tab see i can have like three different outputs for the for, uh, for this thing i can have like uh, metadata defined and once i define the metadata i can just go for next thing and here i can have like different metadata and all that yeah so that is how it works and yep we can have we can we can have multiple output links and th basically the thing is as i said a hashed file stage is like for referencing right so for referencing it's it's not possible with this link so let's make it convert to reference so yeah it can have it can have multiple output links and all the output links can be reference links it's not that just one reference link i can convert all these links to the reference links it doesn't really matter it, it depends on the files and all that stuff so as of now let's delete this let's make it two and yeah so coming to this it's file name you just need to have like a file name defined in here a file name like name of the data name of the file to which this uh, hashed file data is written to so yeah you can have a job parameter uh, here you can have a job parameter to represent the file uh, file name and uh yeah uh this normalize uh, i mean yeah this normalize on i'm sorry this uh, file name is not to which we want to write to which we want to pull the data so yeah which we want to pull the data that's a file name uh, which uh, basically i can say uh, the name of the file from which the data is read from so that's uh that's a file name 
and we can have like a record of this record level record uh, record level read record level read is something uh, which which says that we're gonna i mean the file makes shows that it reads record by record so yeah i mean this because it reads record by record it it, it may be a little slower but sometimes uh, if you want to uh, if you want if you want to read and write the hash file at the same time yeah you need to go for this option and this preload file to memory you have like all these options the default value is disabled it's always in disabled but you can choose any of this so if if the stage is like if you select enable this means that the hashed file hashed file is read into the memory when the job is made to run this this hashed file is read into the memory and uh, if if enable i mean if 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 you select enable uh, enable lock for updates then this hash file which is ready to memory uh, i mean obviously enable right so the hash file is ready into memory when the job is run but if 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 there is no lookup or if there is nothing found in the memory then the job looks on the file uh, disk if still it doesn't find any file or anything then uh, it gonna have it gonna initiate its own update lock uh, update logs so it, it doesn't uh, it just up, updates all the logs so disable log for updates yeah it, it has it, it does pretty much same uh, everything uh, as a l enable log log for updates but except that the hash file is not read into the memory yeah you you really don't need to worry about this because these are not really uh, the things which actually people use more often so yeah normalize on yeah coming to the normalize on this basically uh, allow us to normalize the data before that is read so you can have like uh, basically where if you, if you want to choose this uh, this is all only enable for non reference output links like non reference output links uh, let's make it okay let's make it non reference so let's make it convert to stream so let's mod see it's disabled right because ds link 15 ds link 15 is a non reference link i mean it's a reference link but if i move to ds link 19 uh, sorry it's still thing oh, okay yeah but selection tab is uh, selection tab is there right so yeah you can have a uh, selection tab is something uh, like uh, which we have uh, we can have like selection tab when when we have this column record record level record yep this this gonna uh, select file name with and all this gonna come up so yep so that's how it works and let's move to okay so that's pretty much uh, this hash file you need not worry about other th other things so yeah let's now uh, let's now go to uh, designing uh, designing a job with all the parameters and all the things so i'm sorry okay so let's uh, yeah this is uh, i already opened server job for you so this is a server job and let's make it a design so i'll just pull the stages and then explain you uh what uh what i was trying to do okay so just pull this and to sequential files and then hashed file i'm using sequential file because we already learned about the sequential file right so now it would be easy for you to understand a uh, sequential file as well as hash file stage now again we're gonna write it to the sequential file and now reference okay now let let me explain to you So I uh, so this is the first sequential file. The sequential file uh, is hashed file is getting data from the sequential file. So this is one of the uh, this is the source file for my hashed file for my reference uh, thing. So the data which comes from the sequential file, this data serves as a, a, a reference table. And the other thing is this is the main source data. So this data gonna look up onto this so i'll tell you uh, what's lookup and all that, that taking an example so transformer stage you need not worry about it i'll just like uh, give a brief uh, introduction about the transformer stage uh, you need not worry about it 
and then ultimately I'm gonna write it to the sequential file so I'm just like making an output as a sequential file so yep so let's create our uh, files so yeah I do have two folders in and out so let's make a new file new and then text document let's make it some EMP file okay so that's uh, that's the one which strikes to me often so let's make e number e number as column and then department and then salary okay so e number is one department is 10 and salary is 3000 2 20 and 4000 3 30 and 7000 4 20 again and 5000 5 40 and let's make it 6000 okay so yep this is how our data so yeah the other most important thing is let me yeah so the other important thing is when i need to have a reference on this thing on this data i need to have one key column one column which is i need to have one column which is common among these three so I just can't uh, if let's say if if I have if I don't have any of these columns in my reference thing it doesn't make sense which column I uh, I was referencing to it doesn't make sense right so yeah I need to create a reference a column to I mean reference a table uh, a reference what do I say reference data to so let's call it ref so reference is yeah uh, if you remember I do have E number, department, and salary in my uh, actual data. So let's make department as my key. E department as a common column. So department, and then let's make department name. Okay. Department name. Okay. So what departments do you have? Ten, and let's make it sales. 20 IT 30 uh, marketing or something 40 is uh, 40 is finance okay and let's make 50 to 50 is some xxx and 60 is yyy and 70 is zzz i'm short of department name so i'm not real i don't really know uh, the department name so this is how it works so this is my reference table and uh, yeah so now now that we have the data for this let's create the table definitions so go to the table definitions and import table definitions and then sequential file definitions so create emp.txt and then click import uh, it's not a fixed width right so yeah but obviously uh, I do have first line in column names and the space delimiter is comma and yeah uh, in as i said my key column is e number here so let's click on ok and yeah this is yeah so this imported and the other one which we need to import is reference table right so click on the reference table and uh, yeah it's not fixed with again and sure first line in column names and here my department is my department number is my key column so just import it yep it's yeah so we do have a uh, two def two table definitions imported now as i said in my as i promised in my previous video i gonna create the parameters as real time so yeah before i create parameters i need to tell uh, about one more thing i've i, for I somehow forward in my uh, to mention in my previous video so when you click the job properties tab so this is how the window opens right so when you want to let me just minimize this okay so when you want to uh, when 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 you when you want to have like before extracting the data from the sequential file to the hashed file if you want to have only few columns or something to be extracted then you can just write a shell script and then uh, activate this before sub job routine you're gonna write some shell script and choose this and give the file path here uh, for file path so before uh, before it passing to the other stage it gonna execute this shell script and make sure that it passes only uh, what we specified in the shell script so that is before job subroutine 
and if it's after job subroutine uh, if it's after job subroutine so just execute uh, same thing but uh, but it it's it's not in the source part it's in the target part it's after the target if after the file is written and if you want to see only a few specified that's where we're going to write shell script i mean we do have uh, all options but uh, yeah i'm focusing now on shell script so you can have the shell script and give the file path here and you can have this click to uh, click to because it doesn't it doesn't make sense if the job fails and even though it runs shell script it doesn't make sense uh, right because even though job the f job is failed if the shell script going to run it's waste of our resources so you need not do that so if you want to check this if you want to check this check this to make sure re your resources are not uh, i mean are not wasted or being saved so if you check this it makes sure that this after job subroutine is only uh, is only done when the job is successfully run when it's about it you need not worry about this it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, go for the shell script activation so yeah this is how it works and now let's create the parameters so parameters are going to create for first input uh, input folder input file and input okay it does says input file path this is input file path uh, i have some distance just a second guys yeah so input file path input file path is where i give my uh, folder name so just copy this prompt uh, if someone gonna see my parameters they're gonna understand uh, what is this input file path and all that so it's a stream string and what's my input file path where is my uh, file store this right so this folder so let's copy this and give input file path and next thing is I chose uh, I, I have given input file path next is I need to choose file because input file path have multiple files so I gonna have uh, which file which specific file I'm, uh, I'm working on so uh, my file is EMP you need to give extension to don't forget that and other reference file right I do have a uh, two input files so the other thing is reference file so ref file ref file uh, ref ref file name and this is string again and this is ref.txt right let me check it again yep so ref.txt and next is my output folder uh, obviously we do have an end sequential file so i need to have a output file too right so let's create out file path and let's select this and copy it here and have name okay and string and then what's my output path i created out out folder so let's give this path let's select this and just paste it here and uh, what's my out out file name because we have output file path it doesn't have any file right so let me create a file here so let's say hash out okay so out file and here it's out file name and string and that is out underscore hash dot txt okay and apart from that uh, we need to have hash file because uh, these are for sequential file parameters but we do have hashed file to write so for hash file let's create I, I didn't create any folder but let's see what happens if I don't create any folder so let's have a hash file and let's give it hash file name and let's string and let's give it uh, just okay let me just choose the path where this gonna say okay so let's give this path so that uh, all the things gets uh, created here so we can see what's happening 
so yep so this is how uh, these are the parameters so you can just have like uh, click all the parameters and create a parameter for your parameter set for yourself but I'm not going to do that because we do have only these files so I need not create parameter for set for that now click on ok and now I'll show how you're gonna how you're gonna put the parameters in your file so yeah if you remember your sequential file okay let's make this a uh, professional way so read and this is reference right reference what's reference department reference so let's rename our stage and then coming to the output yeah this is this is where you give your file path last time uh, if you remember in the sequential file stage I just choose uh, this way I just browse for a file but this time uh, we're not going to do that way we're gonna create a parameters this is this way how you create input file it's always a parameter is always follow, followed uh, by started I mean it's always started and uh, and ends starts and ends with uh, hashtags so the parameter should go in between so it, it should be exactly the same uh, the caps uh, the caps caps letter I mean capital letters and exact it should be exactly the same so yeah uh, sometimes you do have a uh, small mistake so yeah you don't uh, need to do that that's a lot of so yep so this is uh, if you see this this first parameter between the hashtags input file name it's my directory path input it's sorry it's not input file name it's input file path so this is my uh, this is my directory path once I have given directory path it's not enough because it my directory has multiple files right so I need to choose the file too so what file I need to choose this is my uh, this is my file so this is uh, this is my file which file is it it's em input file is emp right okay so in, it's not input file here it's a rough file right so it's rough file okay so it's a rough file so and and it's again uh, ended with uh, this thing so i'm giving the path of my uh, path of my uh, file and then path of the directory in which my file exists i'm then giving the parameter for my file so this is how you give your parameters then going to the format your first line in column names and you don't worry about anything and then now load your table definitions which we created this is a department uh, reference right so yep reference see once you loaded here you're gonna see view data so let's click on that see this is how you uh, you you have if, if you give parameters this is how your uh, thing looks if you want to edit anything you can just edit click the click on edit and but it does it doesn't uh, make sense because we have already given right thing so just click on ok and this is our uh, table I mean this is our uh, data so yep we are good here and now uh, let's go here and this is our read EMP EM, okay, read EMP that's it and next outputs again it's file input input file path hash and forward slash because that's directory and then forward slash and then hashtag again and now a uh, rough file and now sorry input file because this is emp input file and now close with hashtag again and go to the format first line in column names and then columns and then load your data here it's emp right so just load your data now click on your vdata see this is your folder and this is your text where uh, where this uh, exists so click on ok yep we are good here so we did get that now ok now coming to the ha ok let's rename the links too I said uh, I'm gonna do it in professional way right so yep so let's say read read department okay and let's make this read read EMP to the transformer I, 
I, I didn't want to uh, put the same thing to this, so just put transformer. Transformer in, in real time, it's represented as XFM. XFM means transformer stage. So, yep. So, and um, this is... Let's rename is as re department reference. Department ref. Okay, and let's rename. Okay, let's rename this as write. We are writing it, right? We read and everything. Now we are writing. So write data. So, yep. Now we have everything. So let's open the hashed file stage. So yeah, we are not using account name. We are using directory path. So what's a directory path? I'm sorry, I don't remember the parameter which I gave. So let's see what did I give. Hash file, okay. And capital H and capital F, okay. So here the direct uh, director path, we're gonna give that parameter. Parameter is hash file, okay. So this is how you give a parameter and you need not worry about anything and then input input is read department which is our input this read department so because we already have data in this data is flown through this link we need not worry about anything see it's already in here so yep that's it and output output yeah department reference output link is the one which is writing to the transformer right this one so it's writing to the transformer and this file name here it should be the same one it should be the same one uh, uh, which which we need to give so, i mean sorry it should be the same file name which we gave here so you can just like rename this it doesn't matter so let's give like hash uh, hash file or something okay so yeah this file name sh let's copy this and paste this the file name here and the output folder it should be same if it's not same then it's going to create problem you're gonna you can you can have a parameter here too but for now uh, there is no parameter in created so yeah you need to have a uh, you need to load your table definitions here too because of you need uh, you need to pass it to the transformer stage right so just load your table data and yep so let's okay so it, yep it doesn't exist so just click on okay and now come to the transformer transformer see it's it's it uh, i'll deal with this transformer uh, clearly in my probably next third uh, probably next video next video or yeah probably next video so as i said transformer lookup is like reference i mean hashed file stage is like looking up like reference table it's like sql thing uh, sql thing when we have like sql join when we have two different tables i mean to have only uh, only uh, only say i mean it's like let's let's see um, I'm, I'm trying to explain to the sql uh, so let's let's do that okay so it's like uh, let's say we have now we do have EMP and department table right so EMP have uh, EMP has all 10 20 and 30 and department has 50 62 so but if I want to select only this uh, only this select a dot e number uh, I mean EMP EMP dot e number and EMP dot uh, department dot department name department department name from emp comma department where where so this is how this is what your uh, what your uh, this thing do emp dot department number is equal to dpt dot department number this is where you write your sql query right so what does it do the things which we have like same department numbers which exist in these tables we're going to have it when we when you execute the sql query so this thing this emp dot department number that is how it it works in this uh, hash file stage so let's see that see uh department and department this is showing and this is okay let me just click on this and let's okay 
so this is showing in red it's it's pretty clear that if it's red it's something is not wrong so what does that mean is it doesn't have any key expression to have join we need to have this type of expression right this type of like emp dot department number so we can't write that so what we're gonna do is click on this department and then drag and just drop here just drag and then drop here so see so now this this department this field from this uh, data is now is a, is now linked to this and this so this is how it works we are just by this expression we are just defining the key expression in both we are just defining the common columns so if you don't have any common columns it doesn't it doesn't make sense right so that's the reason i chose department as a common column between my two data now uh, so we have a key expression defined now we need to move or uh, move this data to the next level right right data is the next link in our thing if you remember okay so just if you want to drag whole columns a whole columns you can just click on this and just hold your left cursor and just drag onto this if you want a single column just select this and then drag onto the single column that's it you need not worry about writing typing and anything so this is how it works so once you have uh, once you have this these are the columns you need to see uh, in, in in the end of your data right so just click on ok so now coming to the sequential file let's rename this as write what we are writing emp and department data right so emp department okay let's make it that simple and then here again this is this should be given in the parameter form so what's our parameter out file path make sure guys you have like the right spelling right uh, capitalization and everything and out file so yeah you can just override or yeah anything doesn't matter so you can choose yourself and yep first line in column names again and columns because the link carried to this stage we did not load any table definition here the link which we defined the data in the transformer all the four fields these are passed the four fields are passed to the date uh, to the next stage next sequential target stage through this link so we need not uh, worry about loading the table definition here now click ok and now compile the job and let's see if it has any mistakes ok let's save this job before i'm gonna uh, hit on save jobs and let's call this as hash job ok and let's see if we have any errors yep so no errors okay so just close it and click on run so yeah if you choose a parameter set above this input file path name it's gonna show like parameter so you can just click on the parameter set which we have or I mean parameter set name with uh, all these stuff so once you choose that name or everything uh, everything gonna choose but because we didn't create a parameter set yeah this is how it works see we have input file file path and everything yep everything good, looks good then hit on run see you can say you can just by while seeing the job okay so this is something happened let's see okay this is good for us because we know uh, you guys can know like uh, where did we go wrong and all that stuff so let's see uh, where did we go wrong if it's always uh, successful uh, we, we don't worry about errors right we, need, we will not know anything about the errors so yep it's good uh, that we do have some errors so let's figure out that this director let's render it again I'm sorry it's taking a little longer so just hold on for a moment
yeah it takes little time because i have like all the browsers and everything open so i think that's a problem so let's let's uh, please bear with me guys uh, just a moment i'll just like resume the video it's taking a little longer time i don't want to waste your time so yeah i'm sorry guys that took a little longer uh, than expected so yeah now it's open so let's open the director so as i said the wa warnings you can just have like warning so see a low one with exclamation right so let's click on what's happening it says before job execute no command to execute oh i got it so yeah once you see here you'll get an idea of what uh, where it is going wrong so the thing which i did is while i was explaining to you guys yep this is a problem i didn't have anything but i just put that so that's a problem i explained it and i didn't change my values so just a moment i'll change this sorry yep none and then now click on okay so yeah that's pretty cool right because we will know uh, where did we commit our mistake or where, where we went wrong so yep now compile it again and then run it again run the job again now it shouldn't have any errors as far as i know but let's see yep see you have seven rows here department we do have like uh, seven departments right but we have only five uh, five uh, rows here so out of the seven rows it's it's checking with these seven rows every record coming uh, with this every record coming through this ring link is checking with this link with the reference and then it is checking if the record exists it gonna pass on to the next stage if it doesn't exist it doesn't pass to the next stage so that's the reason we have only five rows so let's go to the di uh, director see everything is good now so yep let's see how the data looks like so let's look onto the data okay and see now how it looks like right because we have uh, these we don't have we didn't have department name in our uh, emp data right but we did have department name in our department data so we are just like having a uh, common we added just department name to our em uh, whole whole data so this is how it works you might be wondering what did uh, what did the other things because in the department we did have uh, 50 60 and 70 if you remember right see uh, in the department we did have yep 50 60 and 70 right so so in a 50 60 70 you might be wondering what happened so the thing is the thing with the hashed file stage is basically uh, it gonna create it gonna create like hash file usually is composed of two files one is the data file and the other is the overload file uh, the data file like which is like the rows uh, the like the file which the reference thing and all that this thing le reference thing which has uh, which 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 gonna meet with this thing it gonna store in data file the other overflow thing which doesn't have like rows that cannot fit within the data file will then spill over to the next uh, uh, spill over to the overflow file so that's uh, it is basically composed of two files so yep if you see here you can just uh, get a notice of that uh, if you see here if you see here see a hash file right see over 30 so data data file this is the data file which we have like four uh, four of our uh, i mean five i guess yep five five of our rows are in the data file and the three other two other rows which we are which are like uh, 6 50 60 and 70 they don't have we, we don't have it in our data file so this is how uh, our this look like this is where the data goes so yep so you might be also wondering if we have like uh, what happens if we have seven rows here and five rows in here right so it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter uh, i mean it doesn't really change much if we have like seven these seven department table here and the reference uh, emp table here uh, the output data would be like the output okay let me sh uh, let me show how output data looks like 
so the output data would be like 4 5 and then we have uh, other department names too like 50 60 70 and department names and we would have e number and salary as null so that is how it looks like if if we have uh, this thing so yep that's pretty much about this uh, thing yeah the hash yeah one more thing finally the hashed file uh, it's basically hash files are basically for three main uses one is for small reference looks uh, reference lookups by the primary key defined primary key in our case is department number department number so that's one of the uses and the other is uh, when like uh, staging file small staging files usually like when you have a reference capability uh, so that's when uh, it comes into place yep. so these are the pretty much things uh, that gonna I, that that's a place where we're gonna use our hashed file so yep now that we have completed our file stages so we'll we'll get into the car processing stages in our next lab uh, next video tutorial because uh, it's already 40 minutes i guess i don't want to make you uh, so tired with all of it in one so i uh, in one video so yeah let's deal with uh, the processing a few of the processing stages because uh, a few of them uh, we, we're gonna see them again in parallel stages so yep that's it guys hope you all got it uh, let's uh, let's i mean please guys uh, try to practice it with your own data so it will be pretty clear and make sure you have uh, you define the parameters and everything because in real time you do not directly browse and everything so make sure uh, you pa you parameterize all your values and all that thanks guys thanks for watching this video i'm gonna come up with pretty uh, new tutorials pretty soon Thank you, thanks, have a nice day.